All right, <clears throat> these scooters are pretty common. They're the, they call them different names, but your scooter is probably the same as this, okay? If you see one that's got the same wheels, the same everything, look at the scooter. Okay, so these are really common. And everybody just puts their name on them or they put something crazy on them. So I'm going to do a step-by-step -step thing, try to real fast for you guys as I take this out and assemble it. The FedEx guy had to bring it. It is heavy. Yeah, so you want to be here when he's here. Or have to try to have somebody here. I think I had to sign for this thing. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, so, here we go. Yeah, so there, with that style of lights right there and all that. I'll show you more as I get it out. Yeah, so I just took off some of the styrofoam. I cut a couple things and grabbed it right here. And right here. This thing is super heavy. Man, this thing is no joke heavy. <laughs> It's way heavier than the Mototech one I had. I've had a 2,000 water. So anyway, there we go. Pulled it right out. And then we'll, here we go. All right, you guys. Hey, I put a lot of fast videos out. Look, I got golf carts. I've got ATVs in here. Okay. I got all this stuff, you guys. Uh, so, and I do these videos fast. You'll see me on YouTube a lot. I, do, I don't have all the stupid noise and all that. I'm just going to be fast with this stuff show you how to do it and that's it i put on tires lawnmowers atvs everything so right now please subscribe right now to me you guys have trust me it'd be a big favor for you i put out a ton of videos trying to if you subscribe for me right now man you'll see my videos you will see all them nonsense videos i get right to the point so anyway that i just want you guys to subscribe and then uh and then thank you okay and then uh, and I'm piecing this together. I have to stop it because I'm using a phone. So that's what, but I do them fast for you guys. Anyway, okay. Plus, I'm going to show you some, I got chain scooter videos on there. How to tighten your chains and everything else that uh, everybody goes to, man. It's it's a big one on there. So I'll show you some secrets, man. After I get, we take this apart and stuff, I'll show you what to use. Some good stuff to save you guys time, save you money. Okay. All right. All I did was take some plastics off there. You're going to see it's real easy. And then you're going to click to get this to stand up. Oh, let me fix this. Okay. To get this to stand up, just push this right here. And that's going to allow your your things to raise up. you got to push that right there. So that unlocks it. Okay. Um... I'm going to show you guys another seat. I'm going to show you one secret for right now. See how this seat, I've done looked at this. See how this seat is so short from here to here, you know, and the handlebars are going to be real tight. It's going to be real close up, like bunched up, you know. I'm going to take, here's an idea for you. Take these bolts out and move this whole seat back. Look at this. You can get another hole move it on back and then just drill some bolts some new bolts right here and here or wherever it's going to be at drill two new bolts put them through there lock them in both sides so scoot this whole plate back you see and then that will give you more comfortable room better to drive so you can modify these things so that's just one little secret i'll show you some more here in a minute that i'm going to do all right these are little blinkers some some of these don't even come with blinkers but I'll, show, I'll tell you guys what model and everything else I, uh, that I bought and how I got a deal on it and, and all this, okay? It ships from America, ships from the United States. All right, so these here, these are just threads right here. And if you're looking for the bolts, the bolts are sliding down, see? Here's the connector bolts right there. So just thread those up. Thread them up through there. And then you're just going to screw them on here. Push these through here. See what I mean? And then boom, that screws on. Make sure some of the stuff you want to use Loctite on. You want to use the Loctite that uh, is re releasable. Some things you don't. So it depends on what it is, what you want to use. I use Loctite. But anyway, okay. So now, this was this hanging down. You know, this is this hanging down here. Just put it up like this, twist this front part around so the wires are in front and just get this back on there I had it on there just now but yeah then it would tighten that up 
and I'll go from there. I'm gonna tell you what, man, this scooter is highly. Don't mind the mess, this is just a loading area down here. This scooter is highly, highly put together. I mean, built, it seems like. Everything on this thing, look at this thick steel. Look at that. Everything on this thing is like, they even put the skid pad here. This thing is like built like really good. Look at this. So you can adjust this, your steering, put it straight. You can also move, look at the stem. So if you want the stem to come up further, undo this thing right here. Just flip it off and this whole shaft moves up and down. Now you can control your height and everything. When you put this on here, go below. See, don't put it, lock it where this is above this. You know what I mean? Put it down here so you don't smash the top of this. You know what I mean? You want to kind of below this setting right there you know what I mean that way you got the you're not putting all the pressure right there on that top ridge it's all equal all right we'll go from there the seat it comes with is awesome as heck this whole seat this goes right here it's got a pinion in here so that thing is oh man it's awesome it's like a shock I put some I shot a little bit of lubrication there you gotta tighten this stuff up probably too to set it where you want it anyway all right okay so if you want to adjust this rod here you want to make the handlebars go up and down it's going to be right here you're going to loosen this right but then look at this see this ball right here and you got these settings this is where it goes to or you can put it where you want it but these are just this ball you have to push it in and then it'll move see it's pushed in now See, if you move it, then it goes, make sure this is out. But, I mean, you could even set it, pull it up, and th that ball would stay in there. Lock it down really tight. You don't have to go to these preset settings. The ball's just there. Anyway. Okay. So, when you pull this up, to lock this in, it's going to lock in to its position right here. Let's see how it's loose still. See how it's moving the whole thing and move around it's like what the heck because you got to pull this bar up this is what locks it down so make sure it's right where you want it i guess and then yeah you pull this up and lock it in and then it holds it oh my gosh anyway there you go yep as i'm i'm gonna lock the handlebars on I look down here, I'm lining up my tire with this casing back here. Don't go off of these front forks because these front forks ain't straight for right now. I'm straightening out that, that tire down there. I'm going off that tire and then I'm lining that tire up with these up here with my handlebars. First I'm lining up the tire with the bike back here. All right, make sure that tire is straight first with that bike. And then come up here and then do your handlebars. Make sure your handlebars are straight with that tire down there. Anyway. And when you tighten this up, there's a bolt on top and there's a bolt on bottom. Make sure you're tightening these a little bit of time. Tighten this one and then to tighten that one. Tighten this one, tighten that one. Back and forth. Here's a good little information. So when I, ha I got this tight, got everything going, everything's lined up. I still had some play going side by side. Take your, hold this with your feet and see if everything is tight. And you'll feel it moving to go rah, 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 back and forth. It's this thing here. This whole unit right here would be moving. This whole section right here. And just tighten, what I did was tighten these down, man, and stop that moving. Because you don't want no play in there. There's, there's going to be play in this thing. You tighten these two bolts down, there ain't going to be. I guarantee them I have to put Loctite on those for sure. I'm just going to tighten them up right now just to get this done. But that's going to be two bolts right there you want to Loctite. You, if you go too tight, you're probably going to break something. But put Loctite on those. When you're uh, straightening up your... Um, when you're straightening up your... <clears throat> Once you put this thing on here, just get this kind of straight, you know. 
Just lock this down. Put, put this lock this down because you can adjust this with this. So you can loosen this and then turn your handlebars where you want. You don't have to keep on doing this. Just lock this, get it all straight as you can. Lock it down. Then you can adjust it with this. You can always, you don't have to keep on doing these things. You can always adjust it. That's pretty nice. So you can always adjust it right there to make it straight. Yeah, because if you notice when you're sitting on the scooter, your legs are pretty, I mean, it's not too bad, the distance, but your legs are like way up there close. Now look, to get this off here, you got to take all the bolts out. Just get you a set of these, you guys. Go there and get these. And then if you got a socket wrench or anything or Milwaukee, man, and this, look at all this stuff you get with these. If you ain't got these tools right here, you're in trouble. Look, it's got all your Allen bolts, everything you can ever come across in life. And this is the best set I've ever bought. And man, so yeah, pop those out real fast with that. Now look, so when you take that seat off, see? See now, you can take and just drill new holes. Make sure you're on the outside casing. Make sure you're underneath there, or you go through, you know what I mean? There's a little ridge in there. Make sure you line all that up. And you can even put new bolts. If you have, if I have to, I can go through and check underneath here and see where I can put new bolts at. You know? And then, uh, look how much room you got back here. If you turn this around, you might even have more space, see? And then you just turn your seat around. See? So this would probably go a bit far, far, even further back. And then just mark... This is what I'm trying to do. Is I'll mark bolt, put one there, and just go all the way to the edge back here and mark one here on both sides. So, you know what I mean? Then you have it right there, boom. If it's capable, that's where I'll be putting mine at. And just cut these off. Cut these ears off. You mean, because you don't need them no more. Or you can leave them on there, but probably cut them off. Anyway, there you go. That's a little secret. To get in this thing, this thing is sealed with black, you know, sealant. So to get in there, easiest way is get a chisel and just start going around the edge. Just hit it in there. Just start opening it up. So now I got it charging. I'm just going to charge it up. Mine came with uh, keys. Mine came with a key. The keys are right here. It don't have a remote. Man, it's got everything else. It's got the lights on it. It's got everything else. It's got the 1860 battery. They don't have the good uh, 2100 battery with this one. But that's okay. This thing's got all this. I turn the key on. It shows you power. It shows you mop powers. You change the gears here. Change everything. That's, that's pretty cool. Single mode. Dual mode. Eco turbo. So, I'm just going to charge it up and then take it for a ride. We'll see. You see how many miles this thing gets and all that, but it's nice. I'll any uh, comments on what you guys, where I got this one, just let me know. And then uh, sh I'll show you where I got it at and everything.